the rest of the story. Members of the Lake Zurich Golf Club liked their club just as it was. You couldn't have talked them into moving one chair in the clubhouse three inches to the left. So you can imagine their horror when they learned that the railroad was coming through. I mean directly through the middle of the golf course. And the law said there was not a thing the club could do about it. The situation appeared hopeless. But then three men came to the rescue, Terrence O'Brien, Irving Cohen, and Jackson Washington Johnson. And did they arrive in time? Well, this is the rest of the story. Lake Zurich Golf Club, 86 acres a mile north of Lake Zurich, Illinois, was founded in 1895. That made its course the oldest nine holes in the Chicago area. You might have called it an exclusive club, limited to 50 members, but the most important requisite for membership was that one be a good fellow. The entire clubhouse, including the magnificent solid cherry wood break front inside, was built from trees felled on the property. The candles and whale oil lamps soon gave way to gaslight, but for many years thereafter, refrigeration was supplied by ice from the lake, and fairways were mowed by grazing sheep, and cows and chickens raised on the club grounds provided fresh milk and eggs for meals, and... Then came that dark day in 1912 when an unsuspecting foursome, strolling toward the fourth green, encountered some rather rough-looking strangers. The men, the strangers, carried surveying equipment. The golfers requested an explanation. They were told the Northwestern Railroad had secured a charter for a new line, the Palatine, Lake Zurich, and Wakanda. There would be railroad tracks near the club, remarked one golfer incredulously. Not at all, answered the chief surveyor. The tracks and eventually the train itself would be running directly through the club. Well, many of the original members of that club were Chicago attorneys. So there was no shortage of legal advice, but unfortunately the railroad was completely within its rights. Their charter was valid. By eminent domain, the new line could condemn whatever property it needed to secure its right-of-way. But then, just as it appeared that a new super hazard had been added to the Lake Zurich golf course, three men, three non-members, saved the club. Terrence O'Brien, Irving Cohen, Jackson Washington Johnson. It was because of them that the railroad was rerouted, the railroad was held at bay, as it is unto this day for what the club lawyer members had discovered while scouring the statutes for some loophole was that the railroad could confiscate any property it wanted except cemetery property they could not run their train through a graveyard that was the law so Lake Zurich Golf Club procured three medical school cadavers, buried three dead bodies just east of the golf course's third green. Now it's 81 years later. Today, guest golfers at Lake Zurich are startled to see three tombstones on the property. And then it's explained. Those were the three men who saved the club. And that is so. For now you know the rest of the story.